Hey reader friends, happy winter. We have another book in the Arnold and Louise series for you today. The title is All the Fun Winter Things. The author's name is Erica S. Pearl. The illustrator is Chris Chatterton, and this book was published by Penguin Workshop in 2019. Uh-oh, Louise looks happy, but I'm not sure about Arnold. Let's find out what's going on here. Chapter One Arnold, look, said Louise. She skidded to a stop, then twirled in place. Ta-da! The pond is frozen. Come sliding with me. I can't, said Arnold. When it gets cold, it's time for me to hibernate. You know about hibernating right? It's like taking a long winter nap. Well, what about tomorrow? asked Louise. Arnold shook his head. I'll be asleep until spring. Until spring? Louise stared at Arnold. What kind of hibernating is that? Arnold shrugged. A uh, regular hibernating? Regular for bears, maybe, said Louise. Not for chipmunks. Chipmunks hibernate? asked Arnold. He found it hard to believe. I mean, Louise couldn't sit still for a few minutes, let alone sleep for months. Hmm. Of course we hibernate, said Louise. Just not like that. I mean, if we did, we'd miss all the fun winter things. Arnold had never thought about that. Uh, he didn't want to miss all the fun winter things. Hey, I have an idea, said Louise. Why don't you try being a chipmunk? I wish I could, said Arnold. Did you say wish? Good thing I brought my magic wand. Louise picked it up and waved it in the air. Alakazam, Alakazunk, you are now a junior chipmunk. Uh, that's nice, Louise, but, uh, shh, said Louise. Watch and learn, junior chipmunk. Chapter two. Follow me, junior chipmunk, called Louise. Arnold did as he was told. After a hike along the edge of the pond, Louise paused. Now it's time to hibernate like a chipmunk. Ready? One, two, three, sleep! Wait, what? asked Arnold. Hibernate, said Louise. You know, hurry, close your eyes, go to sleep. Here? Arnold looked around. It doesn't look very comfortable. Chipmunks love to try new things, said Louise. Fine, said Arnold. He lay down on the ground and closed his eyes. Within moments, <sighs> he was drifting off to... Junior Chipmunk, wake up! Huh? What? Arnold sat up and rubbed his eyes. Ice sliding time! announced Louise. Sliding? But I thought we were hibernating. Louise shook her head. We just did that, silly. Come on! But we only slept for a few minutes. I'm still sleepy. Don't worry, we'll hibernate more later. First, ice sliding. Arnold stumbled to his feet. I'm not sure I'm awake enough for ice sliding, he told Louise. Just one lap around the pond, she said. O okay, agreed Arnold. One lap, then more sleep. Deal, said Louise. Chapter 3 one lap led to another, and another, and another, 
which led to ice dancing, ice hockey, even some ice fishing. Finally, they went back to Arnold's house. Arnold sank into his favorite chair. Sleeping time? he asked. Right, time for more hibernating, said Louise. One, two, three, sleep! Arnold closed his eyes. And wake up, said Louise. Arnold opened his eyes. Sledding time, announced Louise. Louise, I, I didn't even fall asleep yet. It's okay, Junior Chipmunk. We'll sleep more later. We need to do all the fun winter things. Oh, Arnold really wanted to sleep more now. But he didn't want to miss any of the fun winter things. Just one run, said Louise. One run, agreed Arnold. And then a lot more sleep? Deal, said Louise. Chapter 4 One run led to another, and another, and another. One jump, whee, led to one bump, whoa, led to one crash landing, no, clunk. which led to many snow angels, one snow chipmunk, and one glorious snowball battle. Finally, they returned to Arnold's house. Arnold lay down on the floor. Sleep, he said. A good long sleep this time, right? You promised. Okay, no problem said Louise. Ready? One, two, three, sleep. <sighs> Arnold smiled sleepily. And no, yelled Arnold. What's wrong? asked Louise. I'm not ready, said Arnold. Please let me sleep. But there are still so many fun winter things to do. Can't. Too sleepy. Junior Chipmunk, you are leaving me no choice, said Louise. If you don't get up, I'm going to have to alakazam you back. Arnold stayed put. Hmm. Louise stared at him. Just so you know, if I undo it, I can't un-undo it. Okay, said Arnold. Louise raised her wand. Alakazam, Alakazin, you are now a bear again. Oh. So, I guess that's that, said Arnold. Don't feel bad, said Louise. Not everyone is meant to be a chipmunk. She gave Arnold a hug and went on her way. After Louise left, Arnold climbed into his bed. He closed his eyes. He breathed a sigh of relief. Ah! His home was cozy, warm, and quiet. Very quiet. Pleasingly quiet. No Louisingly quiet. Too quiet? Aww. Hi, Louise. Chapter 5 Arnold, said Louise, what are you doing here? Arnold shrugged. I think I forgot how to be a bear. But you can't be a chipmunk, Arnold. I already alakazammed you back. I know, said Arnold. I just don't want to spend the winter without you. I don't want to spend the winter without you either, Louise replied. 
any chance you want to try being a bear? Suggested Arnold. Louise laughed. <laughs> Good one, she said. Then I don't know what to do, said Arnold. Hmm, said Louise. This is a problem. She sat down with Arnold outside, and they both tried to think. Finally, Louise said, Can you stay awake just a little longer? Arnold nodded. Louise walked Arnold back to his house. They built a fire in his wood stove. Then they sat in front of it and read books. One book led to another and another. One more and another, which led to four songs, several card games, and two delicious mugs of piping hot cocoa. Finally, the fire burned down to glowing embers. Oh! Arnold let out a bear size yawn. Then Louise tucked Arnold into bed. I'm sorry, Louise, said Arnold. I really wanted oh, to stay awake for all the fun winter things. But you already did, said Louise. Arnold looked at her in surprise. I did? Louise nodded. Reading and playing indoors are the last fun winter things I know. So now we've done all the fun winter things, except for one. What's that? asked Arnold. Louise smiled. Checking on you. Ah, oh, you'll check on me while I'm asleep? asked Arnold. All the time, Louise promised. When you wake up, it will be spring, and then we'll do all the fun spring things together. Okay, Arnold? Arnold? Arnold did not answer. He was already asleep. Happy hibernating, Arnold, whispered Louise. The end. I hope you enjoyed that story. It's a good one. I love Arnold and Louise. They're fun. See you soon.